What up, it's Esteban. We're here in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. We're about to hang out with Ume. They're a local band from down here in Austin. They're gonna show us around the scene and let us experience the real barbecue. And this is our first ever bbq and Up. All right, I haven't eaten days. I'm ready. Let's eat some barbecue. Sweet. All right, so tell me about Monuments. Yes, yeah, our new record that um, just came out March 4th. You know, we're stoked about it. Um, it was produced with um, Adam Casper. Right, right, yeah, right. So he's done some of our favorite records, Queens of the Stone Age, Cat Power Nirvana. Foo Fighters. Yeah, Foo Fighters. Yes. So um, just a you know, guitar-driven, female-fronted rock record, and we're, we're excited about it. Now, um, you guys <coughs> hit up Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and that was cool. Obviously, you got a lot of fan love. Yeah, we um, our fans backed this record, um, helped us record it, and they um, I just hit our goal in less than 24 hours, which was amazing. Wow. That's awesome. Now tell me about uh, working with Adam. How yeah. was that? I mean, did, did it affect your sound at all? Or? Yeah, I think he, one thing, um, we look pretty mellow here, but live we're a little more, little more intense. Right, little, right, A little right. more rocking. And, That's um, what I hear. Pretty kind of crazy, and I think the goal was to get that kind of passion and intensity that people gravitate towards live. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I think we got those sounds on this record. Now, Plus he knows how to track guitars, you know, and right. he, he knows how to do it. Now, how do you capture that live sound? Because I'm not a performer, but from what I see, it's a lot of feeding off the energy of the audience. You know, they're kind of giving you a lot of energy. So how do you, how does that translate in a studio? Yeah, you like know, recording? I'm not thrashing around in the right, studio right, throwing right. a guitar or anything yeah. like I did the other night. But um, I think with this record, it's just trying to capture that honesty of, of who we are and of the performance, you know. And I think we got a hope. Yeah. <laughs> So we're at South By, you guys tour all the time. You open so, for some amazing, amazing bands. Well, Who has been your favorite band to open for? Yeah, who would I say? That's a tough one. We open with everyone from um, you know, Flaming Lips to... Uh, Blondie. Warp Blond Theater actually, Blondie inside. two yeah, nights ago. Yeah, tell me I about forgot that. about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm just, Southwest sorry, South by Southwest was such a blur, but um, <laughs> we got to open for um, Blondie and Gary Newman the other night, and that was a dream come true. Just oh, one of the godmothers of punk, so. Yes. That was fun. So what's it like, like, here in Austin when it's not like a huge festival? You guys are from here. Mm -hmm. So what's it like, like, kind of playing the local scene without Austin City Limits or South by Southwest? Mm -hmm. It's a lot more chill. <laughs> yeah. It's not nearly it's not as, as nuts. It's not mean. nearly as intense. But that said, like, I know like, every weekend they still, still shut down Sixth Street, That's you know, and, and people are out doing things, and uh, mm -hmm. it's kind of always a constantly changing and evolving scene of just bands and clubs. Yeah, and there's everything. bands every night, you know, yeah. and it's a real supportive community. Tuesday night we played, you know, a local show at Cheer Up Charlie's, and um, it was packed. I mean, people just come out and support live yeah, music really still, which is, bands. you know, right. awesome. 